The Netherlands, the country that keeps on growing thanks to its brilliant engineering against the sea, its iconic windmills, bike rides, progressive politics, and strong economy are just the tip of the iceberg. With over 100,000 foreign students, the Netherlands brings in young people from around the world and gives them plenty of opportunities to work after graduation. With leading programs in finance, business, foreign affairs, Don't it'll be positive also because... <laughs> no. Engineering and environmental studies, along with a fun and open-minded culture, the Netherlands is one of Europe's best countries for foreign students. You know what it is. I'm Meacham, welcome to the SCORE channel, and today we show you how to study in the Netherlands. Undergrad studies in the Netherlands grant graduates a bachelor's degree. In some programs, you'll graduate after obtaining 180 credits, while others require 240, meaning you'll finish in either three or four years. Three-year programs focus more on research and are meant for students who intend to do a master's afterwards. These are usually called research universities in the Netherlands. Meanwhile, the four-year programs are geared towards applied sciences and aim to prepare you for work after graduation. Both types of programs come in two flavors, regular and numerous fixus. Numerous fixus means the number of students who can enter is limited. The deadline to apply for numerous fixes programs is January 15th, while the rest are open till May 1st. Most universities use the StudyLink website to manage applications and submit documents. There are exceptions, so check each university's website first. What does it take to get into a Dutch university? Let's look at the prereqs. Just like our last study abroad video about Italy, which you can check out here, you're going to need at least 12 years of basic education, primary and secondary school, before you can be eligible for a Dutch university. IB diplomas and EU certified diplomas are automatically recognized, as are any diplomas from states with cultural connections to the Netherlands, such as Aruba or Suriname. From there, each university publishes a diploma equivalency list like this one. If you only have 11 years of education, your best option is to do a foundation year program in the Netherlands. Given the abundance of international students in the Netherlands, it's very easy to find a foundation year program at the university of your choice. The Holland International Study Center provides foundation year programs and partners with four universities, while other universities run their own programs. All of your documents need to be translated to English if they aren't already, and English is a must if you want to study in the Netherlands. So let's talk about the language barrier. The Dutch language is hard. I mean, just take a look at some of these words. Oh my God. Ah. But fortunately for you, you probably won't need to learn it at all. The vast majority of university programs are conducted in English, and the country has one of the highest English levels in the world. People speak English as if it were their native language, so they're going to expect the same from you. Most universities will ask you to take the IELTS, although other exams are accepted. And if you need help raising your IELTS or TOEFL score, then just go to prepwithscore.com and see how we can help you. You'll need at least a 6.0. Universities have specific requirements for different programs, so be sure to check with the university before taking your exam. If you like a challenge and really want to study courses in Dutch, then you'll need a C1 level on the... What is it? C N A V T Canavit Canavit test. We'll call it the Canavit test. If you're a native English speaker, then studying in the Netherlands is going to be super easy for you. Probably one of the easiest countries that you could choose. But how much will it cost? So in the Netherlands, you'll see two different prices for every university, one for EU citizens and one for everyone else. The difference varies from school to school and it's notably smaller in private institutions. We're going to assume that you're not an EU citizen for the rest of the section. Budget about 10,000 euros a year for tuition. While the Netherlands is more expensive than other countries like Italy or Spain, they do have a few ways to make it easier on you. First of all, there's the Holland Scholarship. It's a 
one-time payment of 5,000 euros given to non-European economic area citizens. Each university determines who they give the scholarship to, and there's usually an additional essay requirement. You don't need to give any financial information since the scholarship is not need-based. Next, you'll need to prove that you have enough money to survive in the Netherlands for your entire time of study. They expect you to show that you have enough income to pay tuition, plus another 800 to 1200 euros a month to cover living expenses. If you have a pile of cash saved up or you got a loan somehow, you can use that as proof. If your family is paying for your education, then they can show their regular income and prove that they will still have money next year to keep paying for you. Why did they take it so seriously? Well, it all has to do with how student visas work in the Netherlands. See, the university is responsible for your stay in the Netherlands. They're the ones that actually sponsor your visa. So. If something happens to you or you run out of money, it's the university's problem. You'll tell the university in which consulate or embassy you'll pick up your visa and then they will do the rest. Now, here is where it gets a little weird. Citizens of certain countries must get a provisional visa called the MVV before they can get their student visa. EU citizens or residents, people with family in the Netherlands, and citizens from these countries do not need to get the MVV. You'll get your MVV at the embassy and then enter the Netherlands with that visa. From there, you need to make an appointment with your local immigrations office to get your real visa. You'll also have to register with the local government and take a tuberculosis test. Once that's done, you get your student visa, which is valid for the entirety of your studies, plus a few months. You can also ask for a one-year extension after graduation if you want to work in the Netherlands or just practice Dutch. You're also allowed to work up to 16 hours a week for an employer as a student, and you can also just work freelance as much as you like. And that's everything you need to know to study in the Netherlands. If you've got a country that you want us to cover, leave a comment below and let us know. If this video helped you out at all, like and subscribe because we got a lot more coming up for you. And don't forget to check out prepwithscore.com. We have had a wonderful month watching our students get admitted to a bunch of top universities, like this one. Me llegó mi primer admissions letter de Pace University. We're super proud of all the people who have gotten admitted so far and we're still waiting on more good results. If you'd like to see more about what we can do for you, then check out prepwithscore.com and don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up with our new videos. We got plenty more coming out every week. See, that's what I've been dealing with today. You hear that? Yeah. You know how hard it is to try to record a video where you gotta try to time your takes between this guy chiseling away at a concrete wall? It's extremely infuriating. But we're getting it done, and that's what we do here. We get it done even when it's hard. All right? So, I'll see you next time.